Ezekiel 3, 7 and verse 7. Mighty God. Ezekiel 3, 7 and verse 7. It says, So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together. Bone to his bone. Contacts and connection. If there is anything next year has to produce for you, is contacts and connection. Ladies and gentlemen, in my short time of knowing this God, I discovered that money is good, but contact and connection is better. Because where money finishes, it is contact and connection that reproduces it. Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, any man whose bone is broken, that man cannot hasten himself the way others haste themselves. Anyone whose bone is dislocated, no matter the effort he puts on his capacity, he doesn't yield the same measure of speed that other people yield. I settle down to discover from where I read from. The Bible said, "Why the man of God prophesied?" He said, "Bone joined to his bone." Ladies and gentlemen, there were bones in the valley, but because bones did not join to the bone, there was nothing moving. There were bones in the valley because they were not connected. They were there and they were domiciled. There are helpers around you that can change your story overnight, but because there is no connection with the helper, your life is full of leprosy. There are helpers around you that can take you from nobody to somebody, but because there is no connectivity it looks as though you are laboring under a closed heaven thank god for this monday night encounter where i came to prophesy just like a seeker did it here in the name that is above every other name your bones are connected to your bones i say your bones are connected to bones you are connected to help us here you are connected to contact already you are contact the contact connections already you are connected to contacts and connection can you stand up and shout that ever like a thunder the bones were on the ground but because they were not connected they were not doing anything ladies and gentlemen god created man and he created a woman it is you that give birth to help when you are not connected to the one that was created listen when you are not connected to the one that was created nothing can work out for you just as god made you from your family he created the helper as a man waiting for you outside your family but as long as you don't meet that man your story cannot change i discovered from the day i met with god seven apostle professor joseph suleiman my life has never remained the same before i met that man i met other men before i met that man i met other women but none of them could change my life i am here to make it clear the man you will meet that will change your story the man you will meet that will take over your story the man you will meet that will take over your sad story today you shall meet with that man i said you shall meet with the man can you shout that ever like a thunder if you read the whole book of exodus 37 or rather the whole book of ezekiel 37 you will see a background story the bible says and god spoke to ezekiel he spoke about a location he said he spoke to ezekiel in a valley that was full of dry bones when god speaks to a personal individual in the midst of family where nobody is doing anything god speaks to you in the midst of a family where nobody is standing god speaks to you in the midst of a community where there is no skyscraper god speaks to you when others 
are down to nothing job said thou shalt say there is a lifting up am i speaking to somebody so we may all be in darkness but the bible says in isaiah 60 and verse 1 arise and shine for the light has come who is the light you you are the light you may have come from a family where there is nothing to write home about but there is a light about to shine out of you you may have come from a community where there is no helper to stand but the light is about to shine out of you it doesn't matter how you came here what matters is how you live here but the bible says the path of the righteous shine brighter and brighter unto a perfect day you may have come here nothing to show but by the time this vision comes to an end i am here to positively implicate you with a grace that is about to metamorphose you with a grace that is about to bastardize you and when that oil comes upon your life today yes just as Saul became another man you shall become another man just as Saul became another man you shall become another man you can serve a dead god you say the mighty god is the same yesterday is the same today is the same forever when god says yes no man can say no when god lifts you up yes i can bring you down god is on your side power is on your side fire is on your side glory is on your side never is on your side somebody yes, in the next 48 hours i can you to make a prophetic declaration yes, upon the head of 30 people here yes, as you hear the sound of my voice you are rising out of that pit you are coming out of that cage breaking the of your family it's your head and shout hallelujah stop there he said the bones were very dry oh. as i'm talking to you now look at the entirety of your family are their bones not dried when the bones are dried they will labor but nothing will come out am i speaking to somebody here yes sir. when the bones are dried they will be talented yet frustrated <laughs> when the bones are dried you'll be surrounded with capable men yet you are incapacitated <laughs> when the bones are dried effort will be put into life nothing will come out of life oh. when the bones are dried you will open store like others but your result must be different <laughs> when the bones are dried you will enter a relationship like a normal person but the relationship end up this figuring yourself oh. am i communicating with somebody yes, when, you, when, when you enter life with all that you have and yet you come out with nothing you can get am i speaking to somebody yes sir he said behold the bones were very dried very dried when you pick up your phone and there is nobody in your family you can call say give me one million your family's bones are dried oh. when there is no millionaire in that family have you not read where the bible says i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health even as thy soul 
Holy Spirit, what it means, what it means is even as you come to church consistently to enrich your soul, money should go to your account continuously to enrich your pocket. So as you come to church for God, money should go to your account for you. Yes, can you stand up and tell the boy you the hear what they talk? You the hear what they talk. In 2020, we want to enter a realm where our account officer will give us tea anytime we go to bank. Oh. In 2020, we want to enter into a dimension where what we get is not a lot. No, a lot is too small. What we get cannot be a lot. Ghana must go is too small. Because Ghana, Ghana has come back. No, no. No, alarm is too small. We want to get to a point where what we get is a budget. A budget. A budget signed by House of Assembly and House of Senate. Yes, sir. <laughs> They say, let's give this guy 300 billion because we have found him worthy to be blessed. Am I speaking to somebody at all? Yes, sir. A dimension where state governor comes to you to beg you for assistance. Oh. A dimension where Dangote is asking you, is there any place I can wash in your house? The reason why you're not answering me or you're getting excited because you're still thinking like a man. Oh. The Bible says, with man, is impossible. Yes, sir. But with God, Things are possible. Yes, sir. it is not that he said for God is able to do oh. exceedingly abundantly above oh. what you could ask or think yes, according to the power that will get in us. Yes, Let me ask the neighbor prophet, what are you seeing? Prophet, what are you seeing? I see a time come for somebody here oh. when a private jet is carrying you from the embassies around you. Oh. Somebody said, Prophet, what do you see? Prophet, what do you see? A time is coming when you want to go to an location, there will be a bullion van of dollars ahead of you. Oh. Somebody said, Prophet, what do you see? Prophet, what do you see? I see your building so massive that even the governor has come to ask you, How did you do it? Oh. Prophet, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? I see you. I see your father. I see your mother. I see your brothers. I see your sisters. Going to Dubai for holiday. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. He said, Behold, the bones were very dry. It is, listen, what that scripture told me now, it is that it is possible for everything to be dry. And it's also very possible for a dry bone to rise again. If only your neighbor know who you are, they will collect your number now. Yes, sir. Don't look at me like this. God is not true. I am a road under construction. Oh. I cannot be abandoned. Yes, sir. You know what's in a bad man? Listen to this. Listen to this. When a road is under construction, it is avoided by commuters. Uh -huh. avoid the road. They say, no, this was, this was not good. Mo go for the other side. They are avoiding you because you're under construction. When they are true with you, all the caves are there. All the markings are there. You become the most popular road in the town. Am I communicating with somebody? Yes, sir. Because in Psalm 23 verse 1, he said, for the Lord is my shepherd. Oh. I shall not want. Yes, sir. Resort is not your shepherd. Oh. There are people with better results and they are stranded. Am I communicating with somebody here? Yes, sir. Good English is not a shepherd. If good English is your shepherd, particular Bible would have no Nigeria. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen that man speak English? His English is connoted and and is is intertwined with scriptures. Tell it not in God. Publish it not in the streets of Askelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised exult. It was his mouth I heard it. I later found it in the Bible. They asked him and said, what happened in the those states? And he said to them, don't mind that they were filaga, filaga. You don't play. The day he left house of a, house of a rep, the statement he made, I will never forget. 
Nehi Vendi Vesi. I came. I saw. Ladies and gentlemen, with all the glamour, the guy is sitting down in Benin looking for another political position. But there is a blessing of God that can come upon an individual that generations after you die, they are still eating from the fruit of your blessing. Come on, say your neighbor, say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The professors of the university would have been richer than you. Yes, sir. There is what they get all their life that a man can get in one day. Isaac was not a professor. But the Bible says in that very land where it was called dried, God blessed him. And they talk to you soon. Oh. I just came here for those who have been spoken against, those who have been gossiped, those who have been given several kinds of names. They call you names here and there, and they say nothing good can happen. Am I speaking to somebody here? And one disciple said to the other, He said, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? And there was a reply, He said, Come and see. Not in silence, argument like evidence. Stretch your hand, make a new prophecy here. The evidence that will make your mockers testify with you. May that evidence enter your hands now. I said that evidence will enter your hands tonight. If you can scream your amen and run out of your seat, it will happen to you here. Of human body when a man's body is boneless that body part is useless everybody needs bones sit down please you need bones to move when someone has a fractured leg and they take him or her to a herbalist or an orthopedic or something like that i don't, I don't know what they call them and when they take you there the first thing the guy does is to take an x-ray to know how the damage is. Am I correct? And uh -huh. after which, he begins to align the bones together. My, ladies and gentlemen, if the bones are not properly aligned, it will become a problem to you. When you are moving, you start limping. Because the bone now, because it's not properly aligned, does not have capacity to hold on to your weight. You start feeling pain. That's why you see people who, because of one accident or one fractured leg, they had this, they had this limping that has started with them and it has continued. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. They keep limping because it's not properly aligned. It's not properly connected. You are, when you are connected to the wrong helper, it cannot assist you. Because when you need salt, you bring water. Because the bone is not connected to its rebound. Am I speaking here? Yes, sir. There are connections you must have. There are contacts you must have to make your life count. You must have them. You must have them. How many of you are aware when Jesus died, the disciples prayed. Jesus was the prayer warrior. But when he died and he was buried, there was no prayer warrior bold enough to go and meet the king of that day and say, give me the body of Jesus. Because the prayer, prayer life is not connection. Prayer life is a, se is a separate relationship with God. There's a dimension where you get connected and you get contacts. And the only person who could order for the body of Jesus was a man called Joseph of Arimathea. The Bible says he was a counselor. It was not a prayer warrior. You need everybody in your life. You need a police commissioner's phone number. You need a DSS commander phone number. You need no, this one. You have 500 contacts in your phone. All of them useless. Break your phone. Break the SIM. Throw it away. Start a new life. Yes, sir. All through your life, there is no relevant people. No relevant person. Sorry, no relevant individual. 
The highest they will send to you is please call me back. Delete that person's number. Someone who you will call and say somebody is talking to me anyhow. Five billion, five, five, he lost with soldier and police. They will come and ask the person, talk again. To be connected is not a sin. To be disconnected is, is not even a sin. It's not even a sin. But it can lead you to sin. Because Eve was disconnected from Adam, the serpent came. You must be connected. You have to take it as a major prayer. Lord, give me contacts and what? And connection. Oh. There was a time when a woman was in charge of the area command. And she would come to our all night. She and her wardly. And uh, is it wardly they call her? Oddly, they will come. She will stay at the back. The oddly will stay at the front. That's how the way. Until the prophecy located her, and the woman chatted me up. We began to talk, and all of a sudden, something happened. That I needed police presence. I needed police presence. They stopped our car for tinted permit. I wasn't one. I wasn't the one driving. It was like his mama that was driving to school. She was going to school with one. Our that's Amanda. That kind of jeep. Then they still drive. Pathfinder, black Pathfinder. She was going to school, and police stopped her. Fell look at her. How are you driving this kind of big car? What you call sign? <laughs> and then, sa, 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 sa. they delayed that, delayed that, delayed that. Bam! I pick up my phone, radioed the woman. Because, see, Paul said, if I give you spiritual things, you should give me carnal benefits. So if, I'm, if I've been praying for you, it is time for you to not pick my call. And bam, 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 pick the call. It was that day I knew that not every police officer that is on duty, that is actually on duty. If I tell you what happened to those guys, you'll be shocked. If I tell you what happened to them. Call from above. Who are those people in that checkpoint? Let them take healers to go and remove them. Connection can do that one. Where police will come and round up police that are in checkpoint and put them inside healers and take them to sell. <laughs> oh, contact and connection. <laughs> police will come and arrest police. And you are in your bedroom making call. Is that the only person you have as a contact is Iko Iko? All those council police. <laughs> Look, local government, all those environmental sanitation people, because just see rank. The man is telling you, collect the number, collect the number. My brother, that guy broke. <laughs> Even you broke. I can't imagine you have a gross number to, to do what. To do what? Because the guy is popular. They thought. Look at me and get your number. Now. <laughs> That's not contact. That's not contact. You need contact. You need connection. I was at the airport when God connected me to the, to the person in charge of UNICEF. Mama, you know her. The, in charge of UNICEF. UNICEF is the head branch of United Nations. My last trip I went to now that I came back. My, my flight landed uh, some few uh, minutes after four. Few minutes after four. And I started coming to a woman. Now, the, the, the meeting I went to, one contact God gave to me, the controller of DSS. You do any Anna. <laughs> and you know the good news. He's the one telling me, have you saved my number? You know, Papa has taught us how to package even when you have need for the thing. Oh, now so you just organize yourself. Just even your helper needs help. Organize yourself. Don't, don't, don't make it look like you need them. You need them. No, no, no. They will not be value. Scarcity creates value. Become scarce before them. And they will value you the more. That's why I'm ashamed. How can a pastor call me and say, so you buy a bag of rice and don't have food in the house? I, I'm ashamed. Pastor will call me and say, so you get a bag of rice. This woman, you are wicked. May I call her for inside? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Or you just pick up phone and say, 
the Lord just led me to tell you to bring me four cups of garlic. My brother, the Lord, is your village people you are hearing. That cannot be the Lord. Contact. Contact. There used to be a woman living, you know, I've told you this story many times. I said, no matter how buoyant your family is, when God call you, he will separate you from them. Yes, sir. He will separate you from buoyancy so that you can learn patience in the wilderness. The Bible said there was another road to go to Canaan. Eh? But that road was not to lead them to the promised land. Any road that should lead you to the promised land is a long road. They were going to Canaan. They came from Canaan, sorry, 11 days. But they returned back to the promised land 40 years. 40 years. It takes time. Watch this. And then there was a woman. They used to call her Mrs. PPP. Where's Peter? Peter, no, her Mrs. PPP or Kadupo. Or something like this, eh? She will cook rice. Isha rice. You know Isha rice? When they don't set, that's what they do, buddy. <laughs> she, she will cook it and the tea will have. They will not use break a plate to cover it. The stew will not push the plate up. The smoke that will be coming out, exhaust pipe, they learn. Around a kind of 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, she just knock. Pastor, <laughs> we already know it's coming. <laughs> The door, we don't used to lock it. Three o'clock, the food is coming. As you come, Pastor, as you make bang bang, the door will just open. And me and my <laughs> my top beat and Tobias. We're already the, the Pastor Peter have three weeks at that time. It's only singlet. They are waiting. Solomon and all of them, Victor. They'll be waiting for the food. We just come. Oh yeah. You know the way ants used to gather oil. Before you say Jack Robinson, that's when you know that these people. <laughs> It's not only the Bible they know how to read. If they eat for you, that was for for us. That woman was our contact and our connection. Sunday, Sunday contact. It, she know they miss her. Sunday, three o'clock. If he pass three, you know say the rise high pass as it's supposed to high. Ah. <laughs> for me, that was my connection. And you know the funny thing, we we're calling her Messiah. I like, I like your vibe. Wait. I'm going to give you 5k for that vibe. Let me call it 5k. Call it 5k. For call it 5k. Oh God, call it only 5,000. Oh. 2, 3, 4, 5. I oh yeah. Now they hear the team. I, I, don't, I don't like dumb people. Oh. <laughs> not the dumb. Not the dumb. I don't say shut down. Let me preach again now. That's connection for a collection. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shut it! around you who do you have who do you have who, 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 who do you have around your life who is that person that you can say yes I have this person even Jesus had somebody they called Demas Demas was connected to Herod he will come and bless Jesus only when you have eyes that are built by the spirit you can see what Demas did to Jesus you see Jesus had a helper then you are preaching. The, the late Archbishop invited uh, Bishop David Edibo to preach in his program. As he was preaching, the guy was jumping. You don't need a man! You don't need a man! You know how Bishop David Edibo preaches? When he finished, our Bishop took mic. David, you need a man. Oh. If you don't have a man, look at Big Bear. You need a man. You need somebody. Contact connection oh. don't be deceived you need contact you need connection i'm telling you the truth you know people went to ish to write exam 
And after exam, some did another one. Some did another one. You know the funny thing? The people who did those three are at home. There are people who were caught from Lagos. One of my sons, he just came. He just came. He's going to resume January. He didn't write anyone. This is Nigeria. If you are not connected, my brother, you will be frustrated. You just... The only gain you will have is the questionnaire you saw. Aye. But in a country where they, they did, they did the uh, immigration exam, how many of you heard of it? In the stadium, people died. They died. Maybe they are, they are immigration officers in their grave now. But there are people who didn't attend that exam, but they were taken. Contact and connection. You need it. You need contact. Every day of your life, never wake up and pray other prayers and not pray for contacts and connection. Contacts and connection. Contact and connection. Some years ago, I was driving a Mercedes Benz C class wagon. Somebody had just bought it for me, brand a uh, direct Benjo. So I've never I put number some weeks later, and then I began to drive. And I got to be in. There's these people they used to call Shomole police. My brother, thank God those people left. They can hold you for nothing. They say you run lights. My brother, the lights is green. He say yes, he, he, he can't red, he can't green again. <laughs> and bro, speak all the grammar. Call Obama. You must pay 25,000. Call Obama. Now you sabi. They, they, they get their uniform. When you just sit there, you know you are finished. They don't they know the year beg. If it's too cheap, 18,000 must enter. My brother. They caught me twice. I shut up the shot. They told me my car was working. They were telling me. The car was, it was on drive. That's the day I knew that if they removed the front of your car for granted, forget your back. You are following them to the office. I got there. I beg all I could beg. Tell them I was a pastor. The man collecting the bribe was telling me I'm an apostle. <laughs> oh. so, so, so don't tell me Bible. Give what below to Caesar. The thing shocked me. I, I, I call her the calling. You know, that's when people will start telling you, Oh, my sister just married. Oh, my this one just happened. There was no nobody I could call. Hey. The motto stayed there, stayed there, stayed there. The man of God, the man of God, Apostle Kum Oshomole Police. And now came out and told me, You are still here. You are still here. You are still here. You know, you know, get sense. <laughs> And I beg, 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 beg with 18,000. The man collected. Twice like that. I vow never to drive inside Benin. If I'm going to Benin, when I get to bypass, I used to have a friend around there. I would park my car there. Enter car and go. Until one day, I met with a big man. Connected me to him. Somehow, somehow, I was going there to pray. He was in charge of revenue in a two states. In fact, they just reput him now. In charge of revenue. Honorable Isuku. As I got there, <laughs> and you know all those people they are on that board of eternal revenue they owe me again and I wired the man the man called their organ to call their sports to tell them if they don't leave my motto now they will sack all of them and I gave them the phone they were saying call anybody call anybody now I say now your guy they talk to put the phone your organ your boss I didn't call his boss I called somebody that called his boss Give him the phone. Uh, no, the light the amber. He never read the amber. <laughs> you, 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 oh God! If you are if you are not connected, forget this thing. He, the, the light, that's the day I first heard amber. Me don't know whether amber did that light. I said that green, red. No, they say amber, yellow, amber. Okay, I say amber, no amber. What do I should I stay there? He said no. Or God said we should allow you go. Or God said you should allow him go. John 1930. It is finished. And that's what happened. That was what happened. The man's daughter was mad. She was hospitalized in the place they call Faith Medi Place. It's in airport road beneath, opposite the airport. 
and I was in worry to preach, still with this C class. And as I was coming, I said to the man, I can't enter because I don't want those people to hold me again. He said, Enter, tell them it's me. I said, No, I can't enter. It's okay, wait by the bypass where you can from Sapile Road enter. How many of you know that place? He said, Wait there. He sent me a jeep and a helos. The helos was with security men, they were at the front. The jeep was inside. And me, I carry C class, not even automatic, manual. My brother, as we don't drive, go front. I flash and I say, Wait. They wait. I asked the driver of the one of the passengers of the jeep, You know how to drive manual? He said, Yes, sir. I said, Enter this man. Oh. Enter my own. Now, me, the seven, I'm going to carry. I'll come carry C class. They zoom, they follow you. How? Enter my own. That's why I enter that other one. But on the AC. Friend, even if the team wants to to go, give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Somebody shout connection. 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 You need contact. One of the things I've seen my father, God, someone have is contact and connection. Everywhere is going. We have. Uh, 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 an anniversary coming in February and three presidents of countries are coming connection don't tell me story they were in Adamawa to do program Yola to do program Yola a Muslim state and yet a Malam came and met him in the field and said I don't like you but something is telling me to give you 10 million you may not like me give me the money who you who, who you like him you like uh -huh. <laughs> Like when they use the hijab cover. That one I like. <laughs> Somebody shout contact! Contact! Shout it to coronation! Coronation! I bless him you now! Am I speaking to somebody? You must be properly connected. You need contact and connection the bible says, and the bone join to his bone life of struggle does not end until you are connected to your helper your helper are those who were properly positioned so that they too in their position they can position you genesis 12 the bible says and god said to abraham i will bless you so that you can become a blessing to others so if you don't meet the blesser or the the one who carries the blessing you cannot be blessed you keep missing meeting with irrelevant people look at your friend now very popular like you like like like, like jabez honorable but yet stranded very honorable honorable as in popularity they know him everywhere anywhere he's going jabo ah, hello jabo ah, hey, jabo some of you are very popular when you enter back from here to market square now that's how your hand will be doing hey yeah, if you want to fall the back man because you are too popular. Popular and stranded. She she you not get. Very popular. In fact, if you check your father now, that's how he was popular. <laughs> Where is Jaloko? Is he in church? Is Jaloko in church? Ikelebe Jaloko. Very popular. <laughs> very very popular but yet not connected not connected the only place where you are popular is one big kai kai joint one man i was doing evangelism some, some time ago and one man just look at he was not even talking to me he was very high you know there's a way somebody gets very high that even you that specifically the high you can be high his own high is like bluetooth more contagious than chicken pus and the guy was just going moving moving the next thing i heard him say say what I look. He said, "Kid, the view water." He said, "Say, mama." So I had to turn. Nobody's holding you. He kid the view water. The bear. What? How does it? How does it bug me? Four. Four is the fall of one that determines the rising of the other. Four uh -huh. let me rise. That's where you are connected. Where there is bag. Back mess association. Hey, chair, chair. I know those others chairman in bike park. They don't wear trousers. They wear the car. Combat. They, they are, they are, their polo does not get down. Is here. You see their neighbor. But <laughs> they don't wear singlet. They wear shimmy. Shimmy is down when you wash once. The hole will come many. You don't even know where to enter inside. 
That's how the guys come with Beatrice slippers. That's how they are hailing. Che, che, re, che. Here they go. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. Give her one shot. <laughs> Get connected. Amanda, 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 Amanda. Get so connected with people who will tell you, please, can you come? Let's have dinner in the United Arab Emirates. Can you come? Let's buy gelato in Italy. I, I will forget this story. I saw on the internet. We are one of the richest men in the oil industry or oil oil face set in Nigeria. Somebody whose name is called Femi Otedola, who has a daughter called Copy. They said they were flying to London and in the air they decided to branch Italy to buy ice cream ice cream ice cream they want to buy ice cream in the air they branch Italy because they own the private jet ah, ah, ah. somebody say connection connection oh. they, they branch Italy to buy ice cream You know what it takes to branch in a sovereign nation? You will pay for the tarmac. You will pay for landing. You will pay for airspace. Obviously, for you to have landed, you have a valid visa. You have a valid visa. So you said they will pay for what? Emergency landing. Ah! Because all that plane will be put on hold. You are not on their schedule. They will put all that plane on hold. Money. Oh. They will put other planes on hold for you to land. We are about landing. I, was, uh, we, I got to Abuja and I was about landing Abuja. And they told us to wait in the air. That the president's wife wants to land. We came before her. But we had to wait. We had to wait. How much you pay? How much? How much you pay? You, you say enough you wait. Jump. Oh. <laughs> Jump down. <laughs> You don't have choice. You both. <laughs> That's how they will tell you. You want bet. <laughs> You're waiting there. I met my brother, Apostle Patrick, today in the airport. And I said to him, Alpha, what do you going to delay? He said, the same old wait. The first day they want to. Okay, well, I still wait. So we're all, we all waiting in the air. Because the first lady of a country wants to land. And imagine, they didn't go there to stay. They went to buy ice cream. Ice cream. I and Gala the hungry you. Even boss not greased off for 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 for. for <laughs> <laughs> you, you you know there are those points where you you need Gala and like I said, Those two they are couples. They are married. If you drink Gala and like I even if your brain knock, it will reset itself. Cold like I said. The gala they used to call right. You know right? Yes, sir. I don't, I don't like all the rest. I like that right. That yellow one with yellow jersey. They play number nine. That be no, 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 truth. Not truth you talk. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. When you go reverse plane, tell us, say, I want to buy like a Sarah for her. <laughs> Have you not been told that there was hold up in Lagos or a road. A helicopter came and picked one person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A helicopter came not for, for one person. Because of hold up. And they announced it on the news. Who, who with FA, FAA and the fan. They announced it. Who will deal with that person? Which person? Not the person creates FAA and they will close her. They say, they, how will you, how will you violate? These are our, which violates? Akiri President Chichi. A person put on there connections, contact. <laughs> the leader of one political party in Nigeria said, If you join their party, your sins are forgiven. Connection, they will wash or sink clean. <laughs> EFCC will leave you unless you go. <laughs> you don't know connection. You think, think you came to this life to just be doing yaga yaga yaga. Come on, your lecture and number you don't have. Connection is in levels. It starts from somewhere. I went to preach in the in, in AAU. The, the dean and the deputy dean of um, is he education? Education invited me to come preach. So I went for their program, finished preaching. 
They took, they said, no, we have to take you to our office. Come and pray for us. They finished praying. What did I do? I called my son, who is a class rep in that faculty. Called him. I said, come. Come. I called him. I said, come. I may not be in school, but let me give you contact here. I had, I called the dean and deputy dean. I said, this is my son. If you can't see me, see him. Not HOD. Dean and deputy dean. See him. And have they ever had, have you ever needed access and did they give you? They give you access cheaply. Two of my daughters in the choir, they called me that their names were not shortlisted in one thing like that. I said, who is in charge? They said, Dean and Deputy Dean. I called the woman. The woman said, no, 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 you wouldn't have called me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let me call Deputy Dean to go back to school and rectify it. Deputy Dean went to school and rectify it. Don't play with this thing. Contact! Oh, connection. God bless you. Contact. Contact and connection. You don't play with it. The funny thing is that sometimes when God gives you a helper, you start serving him like God. You will lose your contact. You don't serve helpers like God. When you start serving helpers, God takes away the presence that gives them value in your eyes or that gives you value for their eyes. Because God is a jealous God. When the man takes his place, he disconnects you from the man. And the people who were blessing you before, they start looking at you and say, how did I even get connected to you? Because the God who connected you has been sidelined. Maybe, maybe I should close and let's go home. Because some, somebody's, somebody's no longer hearing what I'm saying. Oh. If you're hearing me say, yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you, sir. You need contact. You need connection. Every day of your life, you need them. Every face of your life, you need them. I can never forget when it was me and Mama. We went to church in Auchi. And Papa told me, you remember Papa told me, me to come back to church that i have to go to abuja that sunday evening and i went back to church they sent us to go to abuja to go and collect euro visa on sunday evening my brother sir you've been in Europe for how many years now did they collect euro visa on sunday without documents you don't you think you did you say <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. contacts now we we didn't go to embassy we went to consular's house we did go to embassy. He go to me. Go back. The man gets stamp and everything for a house. Say you came through Apostle Suleiman. I say yes. Oh yeah. I really. Yeah. And the funny thing, we we, we went with Hilos. Hilos on the front. And me, I was driving my Mercedes Benz for Matic. I was behind. He was on the front. When we reached the checkpoint, they were here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I say, see life. Oh, I say, I say, see life. Hunter, talk on their show. I'm talking about siding and somebody say, blood of Jesus. I can't, man of God, be inside it. Oh, boy. If you're not there, siding when you're there, life. They're going to carry you when you die. Why not in 22? <laughs> Even if the best can you get, who's I read? What you want be? Now from small picking they start up. <laughs> we borrow, who's I read? Pull, pull light. <laughs> if you never get, put up for your key holder. Start from somewhere. Press the key holder. I go, yeah, wow, wow. I say, yeah, you're going far. You're going far. <laughs> I wish I was talking to one person. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sit down, please. <laughs> there are two contacts that you must have in this life. Even if you don't have all, you have these two, and you are okay. I'm rounding up soon. Two contacts. Number one, you must have contact with the Lord. Somebody screen the Lord. The Lord. In Exodus chapter 5 and verse 2, Moses said to Pharaoh, Let the people of God go. And Pharaoh replied to him, I know not the Lord, neither will I let his people go. Ladies and gentlemen, when God was through introducing himself, it was Pharaoh that used his mouth to say, oh yeah, come and go. The contact you have with the Lord. You know, sometimes people start, when you tell people whose child you are, they tell you, oh boy, sorry, oh, no verse. No verse. Years ago, my kid sister, we were living at home together. That was when I was in the world, deep in the world. And 
he, she told me that one guy was threatening her. I just asked her, what did he be named? He told me. I said, that guy? He said, yes. I said, no challenge. I went with boys carrying AK-47. We went to the house and began to spray the roof. Till today, the guy left to South Africa and has, ne has never come back home. <laughs> Travel to SAT now! Has never come back. You know TB? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh. You must be connected to the Lord. The moment a man gets connected to the Lord, there are certain things that start happening to him. Certain connection. Certain miraculous things start happening to you. Am I communicating here? In Psalm 126 verse 1, he said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, no man can change your life until the Lord has turned your life around. Am I communicating? He didn't say when man turned again the captivity. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. He said, we're like them that dreamt. Our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue was with singing. It was set among the heathen. The Lord had done great it for them. Where they are glad. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your connectivity to the Lord that gives you life that gives you like ability in this world oh. it is your connectivity to the lord that gives you like ability in this world and they shook you oh i'm, en I'm enjoying that guy seriously am i speaking to somebody here yes sir was it not in exodus 15 and verse 3 he said the lord is a man of war and the lord is his name he said he will fight for you and you will hold your peace the lord you've got to be connected to the lord have you not read in the book is it in the book of romans or something where the bible says the lord is that spirit and we are the spirit of the lord he, he, he kept on stressing it the lord the lord the lord it was the lord that nebuchadnezzar saw as the fourth man in the fire only the lord that you are connected to can follow you into a problem he follows you into battle am i communicating with somebody here yes sir. And, and exodus 5 and verse 2 said a pharaoh said i know not the lord and when he was true with the plagues of introduction pharaoh knew him he gave way told the people to go Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. You must be connected to who? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord! Is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, rise up to eat my flesh they stumbled and they fell the lord am i speaking to somebody here yes sir he said in psalm 125 as mountains surround jerusalem so shall the lord surround his people as mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so shall the Lord surround these people. The Lord, it is important you get connected to the Lord. And how do you do that? Salvation, genuine salvation, genuine salvation sponsors divine connection. Uh -huh. You cannot be connected to Yahweh if you are not genuinely saved. And if you are not saved, you are not safe. You must be saved by genuine salvation. That's what gives you connection. That's what gives you connection to him. To him. In him there is life. And the life has become the light of men. And the light shines in darkness. And darkness comprehends it not. 
Mm. Lord. Let me ask you, are you connected to the Lord? Are you connected to the Lord? Say it again. Are you connected to the Lord? Are you connected to the Lord? If you are not connected, ladies and gentlemen, you have just come to church to waste your time. You must get connected. You must get connected. You see, they that trust in the Lord are like a Zion that cannot be removed, but abideth forever. But abideth forever. They that trust in the Lord. The second thing you must be connected to after the Lord is demand. Somebody say demand. Demand. There is the Lord and there is demand. Watch this. I saw from my Bible that Jesus came in those two dimensions. When he came first, he was as the Lord. When he came second, he was as the man. That's why the Bible calls him the son of man. And he became son of man, died and became sons of God, so that sons of men can become sons of God. If you hear, say I hear. I hear. The man. The man is the helper that God connects you to. He said, born. Join to born. And it's later more and the bone became flesh. There was flesh and sinews that were growing. That's connectivity to man. My brother, manna will never fall again. So the Bible says, because manna is in the hand of men. When you meet men with manna, your life will matter. Your life starts to count when you encounter the right man. You need a man. You need a man. Many breakthroughs that God has brought my way were connected to my life because I met God's servant, Apostle John Suleiman. I remember one of the things that happened in one of the countries we were in Ghana, Ghana here. And as I was there, we went to his hotel to be bidding farewell. As I got to the hotel to bid him farewell, he first of all gave me the handkerchief with which he has preached. He said, Philemon, come, take. And I took the handkerchief. I put it in my head. I was praying. I got, I got, I got. Gave it to one of my sons there in Ghana. But then, I was still hungry for more. And he said to me, he said, come. As I was at the hotel where he was about living, he said, ah, you came to wait here. I said, yes, I just want to see you before you leave. And then he said to the pastors in Ghana, he said, if you know this man, you won't leave him. You will hold him. Cancel his ticket. Let him preach for you. Bro. Ladies and gentlemen, already in 2020, in the month of June, July, I have four programs in Ghana. Why? Because one man stood and said, hold this man. Positive oh. recommendation. We have not entered 2020, but somebody already has an itinerary for 2020. I prophesy to you right here. I will see men that will reference you. You will oh. contact them after you say this amen. Yeah. If I hear your amen, may you contact them by fire. Yeah. I said, if I hear your amen, you will contact them by fire. Yeah. People of relevance will connect to your life. Yeah. Can you spread that amen like a thunder? Yeah. I, I told somebody, I said, my father in law told me he's going to fix date for me for marriage. I said, yeah, I said, nah, lie. Papa, don't, I don't do that. Papa has preached about it that he doesn't do it. I said, he preached to you. He didn't preach to me. He fixed my date. Did he come or not? <laughs> When the meeting started, even my wife told me, You should say, Go come. <laughs> She's here. I look at her. I say, Say, Go come. Talk to me last night. Say, Go come. And finally, before I knew what was happening, we heard, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I say, Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hey, don't shoot. Ah, ah, go. I the feed that guy. The way I tell her, he had. <laughs> the man! A woman gathered 1.2 million eh, for the whole year. She said she was paying 100,000 every month for 12 months. How much is that? 1.2 million. Came to meet me. He said, I don't know why. Something is telling me, give you the money. Give you the money. <laughs> I said, give me you. <laughs> no verse. Give me. Cash. Give it to me. Shooking it out of my pocket. Shooking it. Shooking it. Shooking it. 
position them. And the question I ask him, if they ask me, self, I'll be angry. <laughs> Mother, I don't finish. If God sends them, collect it. I'm not telling you to be uh, all, your, all your mindset should be in the pursuit of money. I've seen people come here with heavy money and I told them to leave. Like I, I told you about the recent one. Brought reasonable cash. And I said to him, who is your pastor? He said, so, so. I said, go and give him. Even the guy not believe you. I said, the car, look at the money. He said, no. I said, go and give him. When you eat what does not belong to you, it will block your truth. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> when the lions in the den gave Daniel as his seed, the Bible says all other elders were brought for him. All other elders. He gave one. They brought the elders of the land to go and give him. They just brought the elders to test him if he still a job. And he finished them. Because they gave him that idea, he didn't eat. Because even the lion understood the power of sacrifice. Give him one to get all. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yeah. Oh. You must be connected to the man. There is a man God needs to connect to your life. A man. A man. A man. A man. I remember the first time God ever gave me direction of somebody. It was me and Victor that went to Potakot to preach. Assemblies of God Church. Went to Potakot. Through the invitation of my... You see, my, my son, Osaro. He invited us. <laughs> Funny human being. As we got there, before we got there, he has used mouth to exhort us. You know when they invite you in a program and as you get to the place, you are seeing your big board everywhere. And your mind tell you, say, bro... <laughs> You come this program, you never reach to the day be bought. Maybe somebody don't yarn your matter. The guy don't yarn, everybody don't scatter. Prior to that time, God speaks, but direction, those accurate direction, I was not, I was not in that dimension yet. And when I got there, ladies and gentlemen, it was the first time in my life I've, I saw the man and I told him, You live in so and so. The man said, Yes. The man asked me, How did you know? I said, You live in so and so. The thing started coming, 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 coming like that. How did I get that connection? <laughs> Liva, how are you? Oh. a root then the fruit is fake yes sir you must be connected to a source a source something a man you must be linked to a man that's why i, I thank god for the ancestry i'm connected to you want to kill me you first go to lagos and kill by the other boy after killing him united you know, god is good motto come to Auchi to kill god's servant before you now come they don't break But no, you don't have a source. You are you alpha, your omega. <laughs> I ask a pastor who says I should come and preach for him. Who is your mentor? He mentioned over six people. Who is your father? He mentioned over six people again. I said, my brother, you are a polygamist too. <laughs> because you are confused. So, you know, when you are connected to a source, you minister like the source. What flows in him flows in you. Am I correct? Uh, but we are connected to too many sources. One day you will come up and preach. If you use water, it's wrong. As you are still preaching, something will tell you no. Use water, it's right. <laughs> Different revelation. <laughs> You'll be confused. And if you reach the pastors as many pastors sticker, one will tell you, touch them anointed. The other one will tell you, touch me. No, no. When the witch will come, you will find it the first one, touch them anointed. In one day go, you go, touch me, okay, touch me. He's confused. In the only days, the way you know a pastor's car, he will use sticker to block the back. <laughs> Clergy is even good. You will see big sticker. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Big one. You see the other one. I'm covered with the blood. If the, if the blood cover you, I want to see road. If the blood really cover your screen, you will see road. You've got to be connected to somebody. Connected to a source. I pray for you today. I receive. You will not be disconnected from today. You shall be connected to a source. 
Hey. Let me run the food this one. In first Samuel 9, there was a story of a man, and his name was called Saul. And the Bible says Saul went out, the son of Kish, he went out searching for his father's flock. But he met a man whose name was called Samuel. He stopped searching for a flock, but was searching for a nation. He stopped searching for animal, he was searching for a people. He stopped being a personal individual, he became a generational material. Why? Because he met a man. There are people you meet, they provoke you to become somebody, they, they disturb you to become somebody, they catalyze you to become somebody. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, sir. You, when you meet them, something tells you you are too big to be small. Oh, yeah. I want us to grow to a level where I don't, I just buy, I just bought a car, it's no longer a testimony. I want you to grow to that level. I just, which car, 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 automobile. It's not going to be something big anymore. Huh? Even if it's a Bentley, you just say, oh, this is one of my whip. Fine. We'll just celebrate it like that. I love that one. That rem. Where you, where, building houses just become normal for you. It becomes as you breathe. That's the dimension I like. Uh-huh. Become a big, the unbelievers do these things and they don't shout. They don't shout. You do them cheaply. Becoming better and bigger. And, and this was a result of Saul meeting one man somewhere. Lord, may I meet my man. Help me to meet my man. Oh. Was it not in Luke chapter 2 where the Bible says and Jesus grew in stature and he found favor with God which is the first the Lord and he found favor with man which is the second one. He found favor with who? God! It's like Luke 2 42. Luke 2 42. 52 sorry he found favor with god and then found favor with man these two connections you need them even jesus was sustained by them he first found favor with who the lord and then found favor with who with man and these two you can't find these two you can't find one the, the down one before the up one no you must first find the one up which is god and then through the god that you are found you will now because the bible says the lord has become my light and through his light me will see light through his light First Samuel 16 verse 1 and David met with the same Samuel you know there are people you meet they become king makers you meet king makers Samuel was a king maker Saul met him became king David met him became king First Samuel 16 verse 1 you need to meet king makers to become a king you may be a king but something needs to push up the king, kingly oil look at it here and the Lord said unto Samuel how long shall David be Saul knowing that I have rejected him he said take the take the horn of oil go to the house of jesse and anoint me a king the oil may be available but if the man who is the king baker is not available you are wasting time you're wasting time genesis 40 joseph met with the butler and that was the season that changed his life that meeting changed his life that meeting ushered him into the palace john 5 and verse 5 the Bible spoke about the man, important man that was by the water for 38 years. Yahweh! The man knew his problem. Listen, angels came. The man's story did not change. There are things that you need a man to acquire. Angels came to the water to trouble it. The man's case did not change. He was in church when angels came. He was in church when power moved. Uh-huh. Nothing, nothing moved him on and he said no this is just beyond the move of power i need a man and jesus asked him why have you been here he said i have no man i've seen angels come when the waters are troubled but i have no man others have men to push them but me i have no man and when you have no man you live no life i have no man he said i have no man not that I, I have not seen others have men others have men my brother listen not every man is your man you need your own man that's why you must not disturb yourself with who helps somebody who help one cannot help you your helper is not my helper what you can tell your helper and he will give you times two someone else will tell him more than you have said he will give him nothing 
because he was not sent the bible speaking about elijah he said to no other was he sent sex the widow in zarephath there were other widows but there was one he was sent to because he was created to be a blessing to that one he passed other widows but wait for one lord let my helper my man appear my man I have a man who somebody who blesses me see i have no value i have value i have respect for men but the value that belongs to god i don't have it for man that's me that's me the value i have for god i can't give it to man mm, i can't share my, god's glory with, with any mortal man but watch this the man will bless blesses me anyhow sometimes blessing like somehow and then one of our member met the man and said i broke Give me this give me that the man got angry he said if i ever see you come to my place again ask me this thing i will i will arrest you i will jail you now watch this the man had called me and told me that so and so came to beg for how much 50k 50 000. and he reacted like that while we were still calling he now said to me apostle don't mind it don't mind her don't mind her where are you i said i'm in town he brought that same day he brought 200k for me where he reacted as somebody's 50k we were still talking when he said are you in town i said yes he drove from where he was to town and gave me <laughs> see who why who god sent to help you no other person will snatch that helper from you hey, you know. if you scream that amen when you are the one i'm talking about hey, you know. oh. two prayer and we are done number one